I want to demonstrate one of the uh, new shape wizards that we've built for Enroute. Um, shape wizards are a library of different types of, of geometric shapes that can be constructed uh, using parameters uh, that can be defined in Enroute. And so, so here I can design a relatively simple gusset plate using a shape wizard. But uh, this interface also allows us to create a more complex set of shapes and in this case uh, we get a number of requests from users who would like to be able to build a box, a relatively simple box like a cabinet box uh, or a box for other uses. Um, and these guys are typically not cabinet makers because a cabinet maker is most commonly going to have a design software application and so these are guys that are using en route for other purposes but would really appreciate the ability to quickly knock out a box here and there if they need to so that's that's where this application is really directed and uh, so in this case what the what the shape wizard does is it creates uh, a number of pieces that will fit together to form the box so here we got a left a back a right top bottom and then some shelves and then we also have a set of doors in this case two doors that are going to be uh, flat doors that can be cut out with our nest and so so if I click apply I can easily make the geometry if I want to change some of the parameters or review the, the geometry I can click on show params there and that'll bring up the interface for the shape wizard and you can see that I've got uh, dimensions that I can put in here for the size of the box, the depth, the width, um, thickness of material that's going to be used to construct the the box, shelf information, where do I want a shelf located, how many how many uh, movable shelves do I want, and then some other uh, sort of gap information and hole spacing for the movable shelves, uh, data parameters, as far as sizing the, and positioning the dado. If I want doors, do I want double doors left and right? Would I like to stack the doors uh, at, at the uh, fixed shelf? So let's say I turn off double door and leave stack door on. Uh, the amount of reveal in case I'm using edge banding with the door after I cut it out. And then hinge relief, meaning where should the hinges be located away from the edges? and what's the maximum spacing on the hinges so if I get taller than that uh, do I need to throw in a third hinge so so uh, that information about the doors and then some real specific information about the geometry of the hinge in this case the assumption is that we're using European hinges uh, on a on a frameless cabinet and so here's some parameters associated with that that can be set for specific manufacturers so once I get that set you see I come back to Enroute, the the changes are made, in this case I've got the stack doors and then just single doors for a 24 inch wide cabinet. So at this point if I if I click apply the geometry is going to be constructed and pretty much just the way I saw it in the preview uh, and be ready for toolpathing. Now one of the things that it does that's kind of nice is I can turn off uh, showing all the layers and you see that I've the geometry has been separated into layers so this makes it easier to select for tool pathing and then then when it comes time to nest it I can come back in here and and regroup the parts and nest them and output them so so the separating separating into layers is a way to just simplify the toolpath creation for the for the cabinets now let's get rid of this for the for the moment and let's look at another option so if I get back into the shape wizard show the parameters here uh, when it comes time to output it one of the other options that I can do here is I can actually choose to output the geometry as DXF files so in this case I'm going to give it a file name prefix uh, tell it I want to put the the geometry geometry into multiple DXF files so in this case I'm going to put uh, each part into its own drawing so you can see what this is leading towards it will allow me then to use the automatic toolpath engine to process the job so I'm going to do the same here click OK click apply it's going to ask me where I want it so I'll just pick a pick a folder here 
Okay, so remember I've got that in test files. Okay, so now the geometry has been created and let's see if I remember. I called it Jeff2 underscore, so that's the prefix that's going to go on each of the each of the names. So now if I get into the ATP, I'm going to clear out these. And now I've created an ATP file that uses the layer names and assigns strategies to each of the layer names so that so that I've actually mapped the layers to these jobs. So I can come in, tell it I want to load some files. If I remember right, I went to test files. I've got Jeff2, so I'm going to select those. Okay, so you can see I've got a top, back, bottom, doors, fixed shelves. So I've got the I've got the geometry here that that was created by the shape wizard. I've defined the layers. I've set up the ordering parameters. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn off create output files just for the moment. I'm going to click process files. Okay, so now the parts have been nested and are ready to output. If I'd have, if I'd have left the output file thing on it, I would have created the output files, but I'm not actually going to output these, so I turned it off. So you can see now I've got the parts. Uh, the geometry was created, the toolpaths were applied, and the thing's ready, ready to go. In this case, I just have one. Um, I just have one layer. I just have one uh, sheet of material that's required to output this particular cabinet, and it's ready to go. So. So with the Boxster wizard, you, you can see that I have the option of creating individual in route drawings, individual DXF files, or no export, which means go ahead and create the geometry in my active drawing. So those are the, those are the options that I have. I can specify size, material thickness, number and position of shells, uh, data geometry to make sure it fits with the tool that I plan on using and with the the, uh, the way that I'm going to put the box together. Doors, do I want doors? How, how many and how do, how do I want them arranged? And then more specifically the hinge geometry that's appropriate for the hinges that I plan to use. And once I have that, um, it's pretty easy to create the geometry, process it, and I've got a pretty simple way to make a box. So that's the Boxster Shape Wizard for en route.